Hey, welcome back, everybody. Sign here again with another episode on Val. And, uh... So, one of the mods I installed is Pebble Trakes. And I think it's about time we make ourselves a saddle. Uh, quite a while ago, the, uh, mountain in the Redwoods, where, um, I made my first trip to go get, uh, crystal and whatnot back, way back when, uh, I actually found a Pebble Trake there on a, uh, metal run. And where are you? Here you are. Level 222. You actually can knock them out and tame them, which is awesome. Because, well, of that you have to find a nest, and Wild Card and their Infinite Wisdom are basically removed the Rock Drake nest from this map, so. That looks kind of cool. But this poor guy has been sitting. Did I grab the saddle? I did. Okay, good. Let's get this thing out of here. Uh, yeah, he's been sitting in a soul trap for quite a while. Um, <laughs> long enough to have gained 13 levels. And one thing you notice, yeah, a little bit on the smaller side. And a hell of a lot faster. <laughs> Uh, that's kind of the, the two main things about the Pebble Drakes. Is uh, smaller in size, uh, better stamina, better speed. And, I mean, yeah, 2,000 points of stamina already. Alright, so... Of course, no levels of movement speed makes all the other stats a lot better. You know what, can I get you up to like 10k? Perfect, alright. I'm going to let you sit out here and heal. Actually, come here, you. Come on. Now, here's a question. Does your healing roar only work on you? No, it does not. All right. And look at you go. So... Uh, where's Medic at? Here's Medic. Okay. So that was only worth about 200 health, though. There we go. And, yeah. Huge difference there. I can go through and I can break that again. I can come over here. do a freeze. Uh, first thing I did to my snow owl is I got it up to 5,000 uh, stamina. So we can heal for a really good long time. And... Do -do 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 -do. Alright. Awesome. What are you doing? There. You stay there and, yeah, play nice or whatever. Alright, so we got our uh, Pebble Drake at least. We got the, uh, the health up. Uh, let's go have a drink here. Let's drop this stuff off. Uh, you know, I am going to uh, go ahead and leave my taming pin here. Oops. Hey, give me my dialogue back. There we go. That's the Dire Bear Saddle. Die long. There we go. And yeah, you've got stuff in there. And one, two, three, four, five. There's our hazard suit, which is definitely going to be important. Oh, yes, and there's one other thing. I actually got lucky and got a Gustav egg. Right here. And this thing took forever to, uh, to incubate. Okay, it is down to 1%. Yeah. That 1%, yeah. They, uh, it... Comparable to Giga Eggs, from what I noticed. Uh, for the incubation time. So. Yeah. Hmm. 
Man, really? Minus five melee, and then it also got a melee mutation on top of that. It's like. Uh, but yeah, I finally got my uh, my Naimongs to uh, equalize stats, and now I'm breeding for mutations because why not? Alright, so I'm not sure what's so special about you. You're only a level 75, and that was the level of the alpha I killed, so. Are you just a color variation? You might be. Or maybe not color, but pattern variation. That is, uh, I like that though. However, let's bring you over here Oop. and pop you out. There you go. And XP gain, you're not. Do that. Let's do that again. Growth boost. There we go. Okay, so I had to reset my Anzu. And you're already 7,400. So, yeah. I think that uh, we'll have my uh, Pebble Drake here healed up fairly quickly. I think I'm going to just do this heal cycle with the, the owl and call it good. Because, I mean, we'll be healing as we go, so. 9,500. Alright. Um, okay, let's go ahead and pick up medic here. And... I love that saddle though. That is awesome. <laughs> oh, you got yourself well and truly stuck, didn't you? There you go. Alright, let's go get our, uh, Pebble Drake some levels here. And... Might as well pick these up over here. Now they got a hazard suit, I don't really even need the gotchas out anymore. So, let me crack these open. And there you go. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and grab that stone back. And pull. There we go. And that'll turn the gotchas off. So, we got nothing to eat now. Uh, and then, let's get a little bit of power leveling done. To the tune of a whole bunch of wyverns. I've got a perfect mail. I've actually gotten two perfect males. Still haven't uh, been able to get a uh, perfect female, though. And, wow. Uh, yeah. Their weight is pretty bad, though, but... Make up for it with, you know, the whole speed thing, so... Uh, this is about the only creature that I guarantee that I have that will uh, be immune to radiation. So. That's why I finally decided to break out the Pebble Drake. Yeah, I tamed this thing back, I think, like episode six or so. Off camera. Uh, whatever I managed to get. That was before I got Shocking Tranks. So yeah. And it's, they are definitely a very fun way to uh, to get around the map. All right, so we go. we're at the farm now. Right there is the entrance. So yeah, 
And... Almost there. So the Nasuto that I left in here the other, uh, the other day disappeared. Just gone. And yeah, unfortunate, but I mean, I do have enough that I can actually get some breeding stock going, but uh, I haven't bothered breeding them up yet, so. And there we go. <laughs> Kind of a cool little thing right here. I'm stuck. There we go. Alright, so I need to get back to the radiation zone. Oh, hey, look, green drop. Oh, hey, look, glow sticks. All right, and... Max level gotcha. Okay, yeah, I think I'll pass on that for now. I'm going to try to team up a level 150 gotcha. We're not doing it with just raw metal. from here. I think it's over this way. And... Alright. Go straight. It always bugged me about rock tricks, how they'll just all of a sudden just kind of veer off to the side and not follow the camera anymore. Alright. Oh, <laughs> I finally ran out of stamina. Wow, that took a while. Alright, almost there. Hello. Come here, Dota. Yeah, my poor Drake has had nothing to eat since we got down here. Alright, and, you know, just for kicks, here. I saw some scorpions over here. another level even. So if you can get to this area here, which is basically like giant ruined base area, uh, what you can do is basically just follow the pathway down. Hello Karkinos. Hello Nia Ven Venator. But uh, yeah, just basically hug the wall, keep it on your left, and boom, radiation zone. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and get you a little more melee. Make sure you top off on food. And, yep, and now we're in the radiation. Now, we do have to watch out for Reapers and Nameless and all that. I did not bring a light pet down here. Uh, I'm not planning on sticking around long enough to find out. I am down here, though, because I'm kind of curious to see if Rock Drakes have been added back in with the uh, extension mod added. So, 
<laughs> just nameless just popping up everywhere around here. I see you. Yep, we have Drake's down here. Okay. Next question. Are they laying eggs? Really? Freaking yellow cave drop. The pipe blueprint. Oh, hello, Aberrant Demorphodon. Bowtail. They are laying eggs, even. That's a 165 egg. Okay. Yeah, you can see the size difference between the pebble and the rock drake. So, purple drop, huh? Wow. Don't know if I want to grab that yet or not. Probably not. Zipping right along. Why am I even bothering these stupid drops? But hey, artifact. I see you over there, nameless. Um, <laughs> all right. Not that many rock drakes down here, really. Oh, there's a level 20 pebble drake, though. Interesting. Alright, so... Oh, there you are. Hi. Would you turn? Come on. Yeah, let's get out of here for now. 
That kind of hurt a bit. All right. Get out of the way. Definitely you should bring a light pet down here then. And there. Alright. So one thing to do is that. That way it's easy to come back here. All right, and... So we have rock drakes and pebble drakes back down in the trench, which is always fun. Where you at? Oh, there's Featherlight. Yeah, okay. Aberrant Nia Venator. Yeah, definitely need to get a light pet before I go back in there. And... There's another place uh, down here I wanted to check out as well. Oh, you'll do just nicely. All right, so here's the other side of the radiation area. And its entrance is a little harder to find. There's no actual real good landmarks for it, just the giant opening, pretty much. But... Um, seems to be a little quieter anyway. Well, I do have a uh, light pet on my shoulder, so it's keeping the nameless spawns down, but... Huh. Wow. Ah, I actually saw that one on my uh, spyglass. I mean, it wasn't popping up, but... Let's see. And we're back down here again. All right. Another feather light. Eh, level 50. Okay. Hmm. Is this drop going to be any good? Eh, uh, better. I mean, it's flak boots. Great, now I got Seekers to deal with instead. At least Seekers get food, so... Incoming Seeker here. And Rock Drake, or Pebble Drake, anyway. Oops, I killed a feather by accident. Hi, you were one of the ones I was chewing on earlier, weren't you? I think you are. Hmm. Alright, so... Just to piss off all the Dormorphodons around here, too. Thank you.
Okay, well, we got four of these guys now. And more? <laughs> okay. Wow, so many the sounds are glitching out. Okay. There we go. Now we got our sounds back. Took a bit of a beating there. But we did get a, a pretty decent rock drake egg, too. Alright, what do we got here? Level 15. Really? I think my bird just turned off. Alright. Not going anywhere for a while now. Alright, so I've checked out most of the nesting sites. <laughs> um, highest level egg I found besides one on me is a 90. So, not going to be too worried about that, really. You by the light, right? Or, that's just a weird little projection. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna head on out of here, I guess. Just think if I want to tame a basilisk, I've got uh, wyverns for that. But uh, I think that's pretty much everything for the radiation zone. Is you have. Well, due to the extension mod, I have rock drakes. Uh, normally, it's just nameless, the occasional Reaper Queen, and a uh, Carcanos. So, uh, let's see. Man, I love how fast this thing backs up. All right. Um, what else to do with the rest of this episode, though? really tame a water mount of some flavor. Alright, so let's get down to the water. And for right now I'm going to have to use Baryonyx to get down there. Uh, there's a couple of pretty powerful uh, water tames in Prehistoric Beasts. But I need things like Ammonite Bile and Tuso Tentacles, Bazillosaur Blubber to uh, tame them. So it's like I need to get down there first with... Oh, huh, yeah. Just a turtle egg then, huh? But I need to get down there with something. And... Uh, get some of the resources together. And... There we go. A little bit of fish meat. Alright. Um, let's go ahead and get that on at least. Just made a tank and flippers because, well, I don't think the water is really all that cold uh, in the under ocean. And the goggles really don't do anything. So. The water on Val is very, very clear, so. And. Where exactly was this? Ah, here it is. Downside of Baryonyx is they don't swim straight down. The Samosaurus does, but uh, I've only got one high level one. And. They're kind of hard to find, so I don't want to risk it. A 
Although, depending on the eel and Nidaria situation down here, I may end up going back to the Cyamasaur. Alright, so... Oh, that looks cool. But, uh, keep a gamut up. Yeah, the uh, Paleoarch Baryonyx does seem to swim and run slower than the uh, vanilla one. But that could be because I'm just so used to using imprinted Baryonyx that this one that isn't imprinted, because it was a wild tame, it just, yeah, doesn't quite measure up. Uh, come down here, we can see there's silica pearls everywhere. And uh, here soon we should start seeing some uh, sea creatures show up. Come on, guys. Where you at? And... Right. Okay. Megalodon. Come here. There we go. A little more fish meat. Because why not? Uh, I came down at night time, didn't I? I did. There. Gamma 4, then. Yep, there's the nighttime song. Alright, so I need to find a few things. Uh, let me see. I need to be able to make fish cakes. Okay, you're new. Yeah, this is like an underwater uh, Deodon, by the way, the uh, Prionosuchus. There we go. And... There we go. Okay. Yeah, Temnus Bondle Trees. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to tame one of those in this playthrough, though. On this map, anyway. Um... Because, yeah, like I said in the little information box that shows up when you look out at the spyglass... Uh, Temnus Bondle Treats on a fishing rod. And these are Leech Blood, Silica Pearls, Superior Kibble, and Raw Meat. Uh, the other thing I need to make is uh, Sea King Kibble, this stuff here. This is Aminate Bile, Basilosaur Blubber, Regular Kibble, and Cooked Prime Fish Meat. So, yeah. That's, yeah. I'm just sitting here going, okay, I need a Basilosaur and Tuso. Tuso is so I can tame the giant sea slugs. And I can, so I can make fish cakes to tame those guys with. And then they produce something that I can use to tame the, the Hynasuchus. Alright, uh, I might just kind of chill here and wait for the sun to come up. 